In this tutorial, we're going over adding the barriers to the bridge. Um, so, first thing you do is you come up to Place Barrier, and then check for in the templates. And I already drew them in, but when you first open up, you won't like to have the barriers you need. Um, they do have some default templates from V dot and F dot. Um, the closest one I found was this F shape. F shape L and F dot, but still didn't match up with what I needed, so I needed to create my own barrier. Um, so, first thing, I just came in here first, checked to see if I had it. Since I didn't, I canceled out. And then the next thing I needed to do is create a barrier. And the easiest way I found to find, do that was just start typing up here, and then there's this one with a little suitcase, and that's under libraries and then you can come in here to make a new one so I already have these ones in here but I'm gonna start from scratch um, when you're in here you can either copy an existing one and then edit it or create a new one I personally find it easier just to start fresh um, so I'll just add a template and I'll just call it um, bridge um, let's do R um, the reason why they have R and L is because you need to use a separate uh, template for the right side and left side of the bridge because they're facing different directions most of the time. Um, you can add a description too. I'm just going to skip that part, but you can add one. Okay. Oh, and the next, it wants you to select a view to start drawing in. Um, I will use this view 3, so click there. This opens up automatically opens up the drawing tools and you have this so the working point is basically the reference point of your barrier so you always want your working point on the bottom outside corner that you want lining up with the edge of the deck um, because wherever you have I mean unless you're doing like a median then you want this in the middle because basically whenever you place a barrier in you're going to be lining it up with this working point um, since this is I'm doing one for the right-handed side. Um, I want this to be the flat back end and coming over here. So I will be basing it off these details here. Um, and it'll be difficult to have them on the same screen. So just know I'm referencing these. You can take a screenshot and have it off to the side on a separate screen if you want to follow along. Um, but I will just be having them off to the side so I don't plan on bringing them back every time so for now I'll just shove those over here and now I just come up to place line start the working point and for this it's very important to me to have the AccuDraw you can do other things you can like type in the length and angle up here in the place line but I like using the AccuDraw myself so first I will need to come over total of 180 plus 50 plus 180 minus 25 okay so that will be 384 millimeters so just down here I'll just do negative 385 0 Oops, my bad. Point negative zero point three eight five. That's better. Okay. And now, interesting thing you'll notice is this was negative at first, but now it's positive. It's because every time you finish, it resets this x and y reference coordinate. Um, it color codes it right here in this box. Um, but if you ever get, in, after like drawing an angle, if you get the coordinates messed up, you can just cancel or push escape and restart drawing to kind of pick up where you left off. Alright, so now we want to go up 75, so I'll just go 75. And then we we'll want to go at an angle, so I'm going to go up total of 255 and then I want to go to the right 180 oh I'll need to do 
things at negative. messed up with that coordinates. It did something funky there. So I'll just start again. So we'll be coming up 255. I want to go to the right. 180. Okay. I was showing before coordinates are kind of weird. So I just exit out, come back in, and reset my coordinates. So that's what I want. Just click. That takes me up there. Once again, see it sets it changed my coordinate boxes. There's probably a way to reset this so it doesn't. Um, but I just, instead of messing with my settings, I just cancel out and pick up from where I left off. Yeah. So now I want to go up a total of 480. And over 50. Oop. I don't want to go negative though. And then just continue from there. Let's go over 180. I'll just go down 200. So I want to do 25, 25, and again, just reset that, fine, and that should be 585, and it is, and I just end there, cool, and then what I'll come in next is I will add uh, camphor um, from the plans. I can either do a radius or a camphor. I'm just going to do a camphor. But you can do either. Um, to do that, there's just this tool here. Uh, yes, construct camphor. So you just want to set the distance for each side. And this one, I'm just going to do 25 millimeters. Let's see, I believe, oh, well, we'll find out if it's referencing in terms of millimeters or meters soon. No, won't do it. This is too short. Okay, in that case, it'll be 0 0.025, 0 0.025, okay, there, apply it over there, perfect, okay, there, now we have that all drawn in. And the working points there. Perfect. So once that's in, you need to push this, click this button here. Um, what this does is it checks it to make sure everything, your ge geometry is valid. And also, if it's good, it'll pull it in and all be good. Um, you can also add constraints so it's kind of like gooey, so you can like drag and adjust the shape. Um, that's needlessly complex in my mind, so I just, I'd rather just put in exactly how I want every time. Um, if you learn the program really well, I'm sure you can build it with constraints so you can adjust these various points to be exactly the length you want. Um, now, to create the other side, I will just copy, rename, and the reason I'm doing that instead of starting from scratch is because there's this little thing called mirror. Uh, right click, mirror, and just flips it around. So once you have one side drawn, it's really easy to get to the other side. You just use that mirror to f swap it, and but it saves it like this, so you still need the two of them. And once that's done, you can close, and I won't need that up anymore. So now I'll come in here, place barrier, and I will select, let's start with the Whoops, it looks like I named those backwards. I got left is right and right is left. Whoopsies. Um, my bad. 
Um, if I need to change that, I would have to go back into the templates and change that. So for now, I'll just live with it being like that. Um, nah, that's going to bother me. I'll go back and fix it. So let's see. Now I'll just go back to barrier. Rename. It's going to be my right side. Uh, we can't have two of the same name, so I have to do something like an in between. Rename. Wait, oh, oh, I see. That's what it does. It changed it to be alphabetical. That's why I messed up when I was doing it. Okay. So I want that to be left. I guess I could have just mirrored them, the both of them, and that would have done the trick too. Oh well. Now they're fixed. Now they're better. Okay, now I can place the barrier. Okay, right. I don't need any offsets. That concrete works. All that looks good. Reset and selection. And then you just need a data point, which is left click again. It doesn't give you instructions here, but that's just what you do. And then you can either align it with an alignment, um, which I guess would, and then you need offset if you want to do the edge, or you can select a guideline. And this detaches it to the deck. And this is why putting the points in the right spots are good. So for, oh, this is the right side. Yes, the right side. Bad. So for the right side, I want to align it with point 0.1. So I just select point 0.1. OK. And that puts a little check mark there. OK. And boom, it just drops that in for you. So after you have this one put in, you do the similar process just for the other side. Let's come here, place barrier. But instead of right, I'll just change it to left. Select. All that should be the same. So I just select, reset, data point. Set guideline. This will be P5. OK. OK. And boom, there, places it right in. And there are the barriers placed.